The U.S. has shot down a Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina as multiple assets have entered the area to recover its debris. The saga that began with the balloon's appearance high above Billings, Montana, on February 1 reached its climax Saturday with an explosion and the balloon's subsequent fall from high altitude. Videos of the shootdown showed an F-22 Raptor launching an air-to-air -air missile at the balloon for the kill. This would be the F-22's first kill. In a statement after the shootdown, Secretary of Defense General Lloyd J. Austin, three said fighters assigned to U.S. Northern Command shot down a high-altitude surveillance balloon launched by and belonging to the People's Republic of China, PRC, over the water off the coast of South Carolina in U.S. airspace. On Wednesday, President Biden gave his authorization to take down the surveillance balloon as soon as the mission could be accomplished without undue risk to American lives under the balloon's path, Austin said. After careful analysis, U.S. military commanders had determined downing the balloon while over land posed an undue risk to people across a wide area due to the size and altitude of the balloon and its surveillance payload. Today's deliberate and lawful action demonstrates that President Biden and his national security team will always put the safety and security of the American people first while responding effectively to the PRC's unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. Austin also thanked the Canadian government for its assistance in tracking the balloon and its part of North American Aerospace Defense Command. In remarks to the press pool, President Biden confirmed he ordered the balloon shot down on Wednesday once it could be done without risk of collateral damage. KC-135 Stratotanker refueling aircraft, as well as F-22 Raptors were observed loitering in the area, along with the U.S. Navy P-8A Poseidon patrol aircraft. AU. S. Coast Guard HC-130 search and rescue plane also flew off Wilmington. The F-22s flew with the call signs Frank 01 and Frank 02, a possible homage to World War I flying ace and U.S. Army Air Service Medal of Honor recipient First Lieutenant Frank Luke Jr., better known as the Arizona Balloon Buster. Earlier Saturday, the Federal Aviation Administration ordered a ground stop at three airports in the Carolinas for national security initiatives and imposed a temporary flight restriction, TFR, for a swath of airspace off the coast as the balloon approached the coastline. The FAA's closure halted flight operations at Charleston International Airport, Myrtle Beach International Airport, and Wilmington International Airport. These moves and increased military air activity came after President Joe Biden said we are going to take care of it earlier Saturday in Syracuse, New York, when asked about the balloon. The FAA ended its temporary flight restriction and ground stops just after 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Until next time, take care.